Keepers rubbed this cub in hay and urine, then held their breath to see if a tigress would adopt her. No one likes rejection. It's a fact of life. But can you imagine your own mother turning her back on you? Well, that was the reality for one little tiger cub called Zoya. Following a series of tragic events, Zoya's mom refused to nurse her. And so zookeepers had to devise a special plan to help get the abandoned cub adopted. Zoya the Siberian tiger cub had a tough start to life. She was born at Philadelphia Zoo on what became a sad day in July 2017. Zoya was born with four other siblings, but by an unfortunate twist of fate, she turned out to be the litter's sole survivor. The cubs had died under different circumstances. Two never had a chance at life as they were stillborn, while another was injured by their mother and perished from the accident. The fourth cub, meanwhile, died as a result of health complications from a gastrointestinal problem. Siberian tigers, also known as Amur tigers, hail primarily from Russia. Zoya was therefore given a Russian name, and the meaning behind it is somewhat fitting. As the only survivor of the litter, her name means life. Sadly, Zoya's 10-year-old mother, Kuska, had no apparent maternal instincts, something that's quite common among first-time tiger moms. As a result, Kuska abandoned her motherly duties and refused to tend to her only surviving cub. Instead, little Zoya was left in the hands of zookeepers who bottle-fed the new arrival. Of course, as a Siberian tiger, Zoya was an endangered animal. For the good of her species' future, then, she needed to flourish. However, without siblings or a mother, her chances looked grim. Consequently, the zoo knew it needed a plan to ensure that Zoya didn't die. As it happens, the ideal solution was a pretty straightforward one. With this single cub, we knew that the best scenario for her was to find an opportunity for her to grow up with other tigers, said the zoo's head, Dr. Andy Baker. Amazingly, such an opportunity soon presented itself. The very day before Zoya was born, a six-year-old Sumatran tiger called Lola had delivered three healthy male cubs at Oklahoma City Zoo. Fortune was staring zookeepers in Philadelphia in the face. Surely, this was a chance to give Zoya a new family. So, zoo workers made the necessary arrangements and sent the little cub on her way. It's a fair old drive from Philadelphia to Oklahoma, more than 1,400 miles in fact, but if their adoption plan worked, Zoya would have an excellent chance of growing to be a strong and healthy Siberian tiger. Once Zoya arrived after her 20-hour trip, the tricky part of the plan began. Zookeepers at Oklahoma City Zoo had to trick their Sumatran tiger mom into thinking that Zoya was one of them. Clearly, this kind of tiger adoption ruse was not going to be an easy one to pull off. In fact, it's only ever been successful once before, and that time, the tigers were of the same subspecies. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. And despite being different types of tigers, according to Eddie Witt from Oklahoma City Zoo, the cubs would have looked the same. While it wouldn't be the easiest of tasks then, the adoption was certainly possible. The scene was thus set. The three brother cubs remained in the tiger den being nursed by their mother Lola. Meanwhile, their nine-year-old father Cammy was out in the zoo's cat forest, perhaps being admired by visitors to the attraction. All staff could do now was sit tight. As it happens, the game plan was quite simple. The first part would involve waiting until Lola went to eat, leaving her three cubs alone. That's when staff would put part two into action. They'd place Zoya into the enclosure and rub her in hay and urine from the floor of the den. The idea was that she would have the same scent as Lola's Sumatran cubs. Subsequently, the mom returned to her babies to find the extra addition. Video footage caught the moment she entered and looked curiously at her litter, perhaps confused by the new arrival. Staff were on tenor hooks. Everybody just had their breath held, said Wit. But zookeepers would have likely let out a sigh of relief when Lola seemed to accept Zoya. The video shows their mom standing over the newcomer before proceeding to lick the little cub. Later, Lola is shown nursing all four cubs in the corner of their den. In the moving footage, the young cubs are seen huddled together whilst feeding. Furthermore, the mother tiger appears to be gentle and patient with all four of them. Indeed, no one would likely guess that Zoya was a different subspecies to the others. Alongside her new brothers, Zoya remained indoors for several weeks. During this time, the siblings were able to bond with their mother. 
Furthermore, the foursome continued to grow until they were ready to roam further and discover the great outdoors. Moreover, staff at each zoo should be congratulated for prioritizing Zoya's welfare. Because as Dr. Rebecca Snyder, curator of conservation and science at the Oklahoma City Zoo said, every cub is important to the species survival. But one burning question remained. Was Zoya finally with a mom who wouldn't reject her? Well, the signs were certainly looking that way when Witt shared some promising news. Lola was indeed an incredible mom, he said. Whatever the arguments concerning animal welfare, well-run zoos can contribute to species conservation. And with fewer than 500 Siberian tigers thought to be living in the wild, two zoos' efforts in finding Zoya a new home should be applauded. Hopefully, she and her brothers can continue to flourish there. Please share this video with your friends below.